Welcome back, my bitches, to Final Fantasy VI. Let's play Final Fantasy VI. And on the last video, we had just beaten the Doom Train, so we're going to find out what it is that the Doom Train is about to do. I don't think he's really about to do anything, though. Except maybe, uh, pick up some passengers, as trains often tend to do. Grinding to a halt. Oh, so glad to be off of this abominable thing. We're back. Or, well, we're somewhere. Um. <laughs> Yeah, well, oh man, I need to start saying something, I guess, here pretty soon, huh? There really isn't a whole lot to say about this part. I'm really anxious to get up later in the game. I All day at work today, I could not stop thinking about this game. I had all these scenes flashing through my head. Things that I hadn't seen in probably eight or nine years. Elaine! Sabin's like, do <laughs> Is that your wife and child? What? That train's departing. You better go... Say goodbye while you can. Yeah, I bet he did make you happy, huh? <laughs> Won't ask exactly in what ways he did, but... Well, that's silly. I shouldn't talk like that. This is actually pretty emotional. After the train takes off, it's going to drop you off in a scene like this. And you can walk around, but you won't be able to talk to him because he's upset. And you won't really be able to leave either. You just kind of have to wait for the time to pass. Give him some time to, um, you know, say goodbye or whatever. Here we go. And that's it. We're out of the woods. So we're just going to swing around here and see what's up here. Hmm, this looks kind of pretty. Oh man, another heavenly cave to sleep in. Oh man, would you look at that. Mobilis. Wasn't I saying earlier I'd move there? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking a little bit of both. I'm thinking, why not end? Are you crazy? You'll have to get ready for some battles as you're coming down this waterfall. It might take a while. You'll basically be fighting a series of piranhas who are... Um, who are pretty weak, pretty low HP, so you should be able to take them out in one hit. And if you got counterattack, that's even better, so... Hell yeah. No need to waste time with any, you know pretentious attacks or moves or anything, just hit them and be on your way. I don't seem to remember these things having such a low HP, though. I hope, I don't, I don't know if the divert, well, what I, um, <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm just gonna come out and say, I, okay, I don't know if the version I downloaded here is exactly like the original was on the Super NES. Which, in case you couldn't tell, that is the version I'm playing, the Super NES version. We can turn this up a little bit. Alright, don't be getting stupid now. Just keep knocking them down until you beat about, um, it's 12 or 15 of them. Then you'll get one that comes out, it's a different color. That one will be a little more powerful, but nothing to, you know, have a cow about. Mega Volt. Yeah, see there, that's nothing. Yeah, Mr. Lazy here is just pushing A over and over again, and that's how he likes to do it. He just likes to kick. Well, I suppose we could do a sword attack. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. And a blitz might be fun. There we go. And we 
have done it. So we're about to wash up at the bottom of the waterfall here. That was a pretty long fall, let me tell you. Here we are. Uh, well, not yet. There we are, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he bows at the screen, like, hey, everybody. This is Gao. G-A-U. Pronounce more like, I'm not going to pronounce it Gayu, I'm sorry. That just sounds ridiculous. Gao's kind of an orphan. Just a, kind of an abandoned child, and... A lot of, when you use him in battle, a lot of what he does is going to be out of your control, because his battle... His battle commands are based on imitating monsters. Well, we'll talk about that later. So, he just goes away and there's really nothing to find up here as far as I know, so... God, I love this music. I keep turning it up, but... Especially because the music doesn't change when you go into the overworld. What you're going to notice about this area is that pretty much every random encounter you have is going to be monsters that you've seen before. And the more monsters you see throughout the game, the more monsters you'll see on here when you come back. And Gal's ability, as you'll discover later, is to... His ability is to leap onto these monsters and learn their abilities from them. Okay, we just refilled on HP there. That's gonna mess up this music if I keep editing the battles out, but what are we gonna do, you know? This is the town of Mobley's. So let's talk around. Stop by the house of the far north guy. There's a tad psycho. Threw his own kid out thinking it was a monster. Gee, I wonder if that could be the same kid that we saw. You came by a Baron Falls? Unbelievable. Letters tell us that war has broken out. See, that's why I want to move here, because they don't even know about it. <laughs> this region's called the Delt. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. Only the ones that you've seen, though, conveniently, so. <laughs> so we might as well check out the armory, see what's going on here. We can get a new claw for Sabin. We can get a new sword for Cyan. Uh, I don't really have much use for that, so. Let's see what kind of junk we got here that we can. You know what I'm going to do first is actually equip this stuff. 81 to 91, hell yeah. And 82 to 91. Alright, wait, equip it, that would be a good idea. I think some of Cyan's swords actually cause some status effects, status ailments as well. So, Iron Helmet, good for the tough boys. Grab a few of those. Kung Fu suit. Iron armor. I'm gonna grab a few of those too. And we're gonna get Cyan decked out here. And we'll mount that iron helmet. 118 to 122 and iron armor. 122 to 134. Notice that it also brings the speed down a little bit though. But it's a small price to pay to take less damage, especially to the extent to which that armor you know affects it or decreases it, whatever you want to say. Huh. Yeah, most of the people in this town will be talking about the kid. Over here we have an item shop. And this guy kind of tips you off as to how to get this kid to cooperate with you, so... What you want to do is buy some dried meat, which is actually not a bad healing item either, so... We'll grab a few of those. And I'm going to grab a few of these too. Just to have some insurance. And now um, it's up here. Oh, look at this. I'm at your service. They're sending things all over the world. And if we come down here, oh my goodness. Entrance to the Serpent Trench is south of Crescent Mountain. Serpent Trench, yeah, that sounds familiar. Isn't there a secret passageway down here somewhere? I thought I 
I found it for a second. Okay, well maybe maybe there's not, and I'm just going crazy. Would you get out of my way? Well, not that it's my way, I don't own the way or something, but... Look at this, this guy's crazy, man. I'm just trying to look at the walls. Is that such a crime? Oh, how much time did I waste doing that? Wait a second, there was a clock in there. Sure enough, 